Hello dear children. How are you all? I hope everybody is very fit and fine and doing your revision very nicely. So children, every day very nicely revise the chapters, finger on the lines and read very louder all the chapters very nicely. So today we are going to discuss chapter 3 revisions and very nicely all of you see this video at the last of this video there is some questions for you you have to solve that questions okay so all of you please see the video up to the last very nicely so that you get the proper idea so children so all of you open the day with nandu chapter 3 and we are going to discuss so very nicely everybody see this chapter and at the last solve the question children today we revise the chapter 3 at david nandu in this chapter you see in one day nandu wake up wake up and he imagine there is a grey forest and that is not actually it is a leg and trunks of his family member now you see children nani ma is the oldest in the herd of the elephant and who is what we know that the oldest female oldest female is the leader of the elephant herds and nani ma means children mother's mother so you see others female also follow others female elephant show her and started follow her so she is the leader now you see the next thing when they reach uh, the jungle the member of the herd started spreading out and each member went their uh, favorite leaves and twigs so what elephant eats leaves and twigs okay after they eat in the herds move towards the river baby elephant enjoy playing in the water understand you see here is a very important thing is written that how much of uh, uh, what elephant can eat more than 100 kg of leaves and twigs in a one day understand this point so this is very very important how much our elephants sleep to 2 to 4 hour in a day they love to play with mud and water very important and work. the mud will keep their skin cool children and the, the their big ears you see the elephant big ears big ears of the elephant uh, works like the fans so uh, there is question also how the elephant ears the elephant flaps this to keep themselves cool okay children so let's see the next what they do so now it's a time for some fun and games so all are you see here in this uh, how they are playing the games in water right so nandu saw his brother sister pulling each other tails and uh, you see what they are doing amma pushed gently pushed nandu towards the water edge she was telling him to go and play nandu loved to play with in the water his cousin sister also just reached there and strong fountains of the water fell on his head so this thing we uh, understand nandu joined them in the game okay so next you see children before sunset they uh, started uh, back towards the jungle by nandu was uh, tried and settled himself okay you see very very important here about the elephant herds elephant herds elephant herds are what mainly female and baby elephant oldest female is the very very important you see here oldest female is the leader of the herd okay a herd may have uh, 10 to 12 female elephants and young ones this is the very important question of elephant herd suppose a question is coming about elephant herd so you have to write this thing okay children so next you see elephant live together in groups so many animals are live together and this elephant uh, groups are called herds so many elephants are live together they usually move around together so for searching of foods okay so children you see the group of lions what we call so the group of lions is called pride okay group of uh, fish school right and many a uh, group of owl parliament okay so this is what we are saying that group of animals okay group of owl parliament understand so many groups are there you can under, uh, group of uh, ants colony we can say colony right so let's see next why animals children why how do elephant help each other so whenever children whenever they in trouble whenever any trouble is there not just help each other but they also join together to care and care for and rescue their young ones understand so let's see the next
So next you see here uh, what the few questions you see elephant how elephants uh, jungle uh, in the jungle how they are do, uh, going jungle safaris okay you see this picture so here is one question how uh, here is one question children how elephant useful to us how so this is what how elephant useful to us elephants uh, are useful in the following is they help in spreading tree seeds far and wide news and every time they produce dung they used to attract tourists you see in this picture how tourists are going they used to attract the tourists and used in jungle safaris they are used to carry the loads they are used by the forest department to look after the entire jungles right so you can see here now children look at in this picture what we discuss this one is uh, a great bird and this is buffaloes you see there is very important question why do you think the egret is sitting on buffalo body and before that i already understand you in the class so what do you mean by symbiotic relationship it is a type of relationship where one species benefit from the relationship while the other species remain unaffected by the relationship right students so what we are seeing here what we are seeing that one is egret and one is buffalo so both are getting very nicely uh, benefited right it is a type of relationship where one species benefit from the other while the other is remain unaffected by the relationship right children so you can see here both are helping each other okay you see children here cattle egret uh, that follow follow grazing buffaloes and eat flies and bugs in this case the egret is getting its food without harming the buffalo so in this case both are very nicely uh, unaffected it is a uh, type of relationship develop okay one species benefit from the relationship while the other species remain unaffected by the relationship okay now let us see the next let us see the next children here is uh, you have to uh, fewer you see children here in this picture here is a horse snake what they complaining okay so you see the monkey dance to entertain the people and you see here one question how do you, how do you think that they are different the monkey that dance in dance to entertain people and the monkeys that are free so children i will tell you the monkey which are which are free are very happy of course it is happy freedom is there they go, get food on time they do whatever they like go whatever uh, wherever they want whereas the monkey that dance to entertain people do not enjoy such freedom as they are used by people to earn money right children so they feel sad this is also understand so this is what about this uh, you have to learn from here and children you see there is an elephant one is uh, asian and one is african elephant many times i discuss in the class and very very important question asian elephant you see asian elephant if you observe what you observing asian elephant have smaller round ears while the african elephant you see african elephant ears will be there african elephant ears much larger ears and asian elephant have twin domed head and uh, african elephant have round head asian elephant only male elephant can have tusk and while the african both male and female elephant can have tusk so these all question you have must be very nicely go through this very nicely revise all the questions that's what's in this chapter okay many question you can also uh, write your answer by your own and very nicely you have to learn okay